Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Yeah, I know who it is. It's your boy as a dry nude here and today we are going to be talking about Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer more specifically going into detail about the time to kill and some other things that not a lot of people are talking about in the background you're going to have some modern war wow modern warfare ward war 2 gameplay on the pc i decided to re-download this game because you know it's the last sledgehammer game that was developed so it's probably better to you know try to see how a world war 2 game you know plays out and Call of Duty Vanguard, the trailer, everything, the new uh, Warzone event. Uh, the, the event was kind of lame, not going to lie, but uh, we did get a nice reveal trailer and a lot of information from a bunch of different content creators that went to a private event. I myself was not able to go to it, but we're going to be talking about a couple of things that these uh, content creators said and how the game is going to be playing out and how it is going to be so without further ado let's get right into the video and the first thing that i want to talk about is this mechanic that they were saying that it's pretty much like a gears of war mechanic to where you can i guess advance head glitch like that really really concerns me i, I don't think that should be in the game i think they should absolutely Get that out i don't i don't care what it is it just that's just the biggest concerning issue uh, if you guys didn't know mounting is back and um i really hope they don't add challenges to uh camo challenges to the mounting system because that would absolutely suck i hate it going for mounted kills it really slows down the pace of the game but we'll have to wait and see, you know, what happens with that. Also, on multiplayer, it looks like 6v6 is making a return because there's going to be 16 maps available. So that is awesome to hear. I wonder if they're going to have any ground war maps because there's 16 6v6 maps are going to be available at launch, which we haven't had that in a Call of Duty in a very, 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 very long time. So I am absolutely ecstatic about that it looks like 6v6 is coming back and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun when it comes to map variety next thing i want to talk about is time to kill so they said that it would be built off a modified modern warfare engine which is absolutely good to hear but modern warfare had a very very fast time to kill now in the gameplay in the background i'm actually playing like i said some world war ii and i think world war ii had a very very good time to kill i'm trying to i'm wondering if they are going to be able to you know bring the ttk maybe to like a world war ii or a little slower maybe i don't know how the time to kill is going to be we only we 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 don't know until we see some multiplayer gameplay the time to kill could be very fast or it could be very slow I hope it is on the slower side of things because there adds a skill gap. Also, another thing, we don't know how the skill-based matchmaking is going to be. Now, I know, I know, Long Sensation, or AKA Tom Henderson, I'm, I'm a oldie, but Tom Henderson was saying that skill-based matchmaking is gonna be like Black Ops uh, Cold War, and I really hope that is not true because Black Ops Cold War had the most awful skill-based matchmaking and team balancing i have ever seen and it was i think actually stronger than modern warfare but that's just my personal opinion i really hope it's just not that strong i hope that they just hopefully I, not skill-based matchmaking but engagement-based matchmaking which is absolute trash can man i know they're a business but still your gameplays are not your own you have a there's a system behind manipulating how your game is supposed to turn out and that is not okay with me. So that is uh, that is something that I am not too excited about, but we're gonna have to wait and see. If the skill-based matchmaking is really strong, I know a lot of people are already gonna leave for other games that have less skill-based matchmaking, more specifically Battlefield or Halo. We'll see what happens. But yeah, guys, this is what I pretty much wanted to talk about. It's gonna be interesting to see what this new uh, Call of Duty uh, Vanguard is going to play like, be like how the general community is going to accept it. 
But the three things that I'm actually really happy about is that it, since it's on the Modern Warfare or updated Modern Warfare engine, that means that the aim is going to be kind of similar to Modern Warfare when it comes to mouse and keyboard. So that is going to be a huge plus because I didn't like how Black Ops Cold War aiming mechanic was. It seemed very, very floaty and it all just came down to the engine and I didn't like that engine too much. So the Modern Warfare engine we all know was a superior engine than Cold War. And I think that this is going to make it even better. Aim is going to be more snappy. It's going to be more reactive, especially on mouse and keyboard. Another thing I'm kind of concerned about, I know I'm going to say this, the aim assist, I'm really concerned about that. I've been playing a lot of Apex lately. I think Apex has an aim assist down to a T. It's not too strong. It's not too slow. It's just the perfect amount of aim assist. And I've been playing that a lot recently and I, I, w I wonder if Call of Duty is going to do something like that or if they're just going to keep the aim assist insanely high which is insanely annoying only time will tell we will see but let me go guys if you want to see some more Call of Duty Vanguard of videos just talking uh it seems like you guys really do enjoy these commentaries so let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of Vanguard so far and what is your uh top 10 list and Maybe we'll do a video. I'm gonna gather everybody's uh, top 10 things that they want at Vanguard and take or Vanguard and take the most popular ones. And then we're gonna do the top 10 most disliked things that you guys don't want. So I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, day. Always remember to stay blessed and stay humble and I'll catch you guys in a future video. Peace.